Now we need to make some cross braces on the bottom because we don't want these legs to eventually get worn out and push out from underneath you. So I'm going to copy a leg again or duplicate a leg. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now let's scale that some. Something like that. Now I'm going to duplicate that. Move it to the other side. Duplicate it one more time. Rotate it 90 degrees in the X direction. I'm going to scale that so it reaches both both ends. And let's scale it this way some. Pull it up. And there's our chair almost. We got one more thing to do. The seat, right now it looks a little uncomfortable. So we're going to do a smooth, a polygon smooth on this top. Before we do, we need to do a couple of things. I am going to hold my shift button down and the right mouse button and I'm going to click on this insert edge loop. I'm going to put an edge close to the bottom so it's not a too rounded off on the bottom. And I'm going to put an edge at the top but I'm going to put it down some so we have a better rounded edge up there. And then I'm going to kind of make this pattern here. One on the back. Now I'm going to go back to object mode. Up. And let's do a smooth. I'm going to go up to my polygon menu. I'm going to go up to mesh and click on smooth. That looks a lot better. It looks a lot more comfortable. There's one more thing we can do. We could leave our chair like that. I'm going to go ahead and bevel it so it looks a little better. So I'm going to select basically the whole chair. I'm going to deselect the cushion and I'm going to do a bevel. Edit mesh, bevel. It's not a very strong bevel, so I'm going to go over to my channel box under the inputs node. And there's our offset, so I'm going to click on offset and just kind of adjust it so it looks a little better. There we go. Now to finish this off, let's create a floor. I'm going to create a polygon plane. Scale that up. Go into my side view. Put it down where a floor would actually be. I think I'll scale it just a little bit bigger. There we go. Now you see my screen's cutting off my geometry, so I'm going to go to my view camera attribute editor scroll up and this uh, near clip plane this far clip plane this far clip plane is only set at 393 inches so I'm gonna bump that up I'm just gonna put a thousand there we go let's create a light so I'll go to my rendering tab my shelf we'll make a spotlight Pull that up. I'm going to press the letter T on my keyboard. That way I can adjust this light better. And I can't really see what the light's doing, so I'm going to press the number 7 on my keyboard. And we got our light backwards, actually. Pull that way up there. We'll get a shot from this angle, so let's pull the light over this way so it shines and we get less shadows. There we go. 
I'm going to go to the attribute editor for my light just to make a couple of changes. I'm going to decay rate, I'm going to change it to linear, which means I'm going to have to bump the intensity up. Let's try 50. Let's try 100. Let's try 300. There we go, that's looking better. Probably need to go a little bit higher. Let's try 400. I'm going to change the cone angle so it's a little bigger. That's probably good. And that should be good. Maybe I'll add a little bit of color. I'm going to change my light, make it a little bit kind of a yellowish tint or orangish tint. Go to my render menu, Maya software. Let's change it to a higher quality setting. Close that out and let's see what we got. Let's do a quick render. Let's kind of zoom in here. Let's turn some shadows on. Yeah, I'm going to turn some shadows on. We're still got our light selected. So I'm going to scroll down and we will use depth matte shadows. I'm going to change the resolution to 1024. Filter size, I'll change it to three so it's not so sharp of shadows. And let's do a render. There's our chair. So you could play around with the light and make it better. You could even add some color. If you wanted to add some color, we could go in there and I'm going to click on this button over here in my toolbox, this hyper shade. I'm going to click on, we'll just do everything in Lambert. You can make blends probably more better for a chair, but I'm going to create this Lambert. I'm going to double click. Our attribute editor is open. I will give it a name. Let's say seat color. Let's make it blue, kind of a bluish color. Something like that. Let's create another Lambert. This one will make kind of a wood color. Something like that. Alright, I'm going to select my whole chair. I'm going to deselect the floor and deselect the cushion. This wood, I'm going to right click, assign material to selected selection. Now I'm going to click the chair. And let me get to this blue one here. I'm going to select my seat, right click, add material to selection, and let's do a render. And there you go. Thanks for watching.